Um, thanks to Irene. Thank you so much for this interview. Um, my first question for Paul would be, how did you come up with the ordinance idea for pedestrianizing Tomas Arto? Ano po yung mga problems that you hope to fix with this ordinance? Actually, um, Quezon City is a highly urbanized city. And with the rapid urbanization, parang we want to create and maintain more um, friendly, pedestrian-friendly streets. And being part of, or being a resident of District 4, yung Tomas Moroto is, is really the first resident row of Quezon City. And ang nakita namin dito is, if we going to close Tomas Moroto, um, resident or other um, uh, nearby resident can enjoy the streets of Tomas Marato. Not only those people who, has, who have cars. Um, ang gusto kasi natin dito is yung address natin yung environmental impact, yung social impact, yung health impact ng pag-close ng Tomas Marato. What, what, what I mean by environmental impact? Of course, we want to, to lower the carbon emission of, of the city. And by closing Tomas Marto every Sunday, it will help lower the carbon emission. In terms of the health impact, as you know, walking is still part of a, an exercise. And um, this is really a study in a 60% who's walking is um, helping their health talaga when walking. And in terms of the social impact, Cycling and um, walking is going to be part of a social, a social gathering or social um, in, uh, interaction between uh, people enjoying the streets. So, yun yung gusto natin address by closing the street at Tomas Morato. Okay. Just, um, na mention you po no, yung importance of livability. I think that's one of the things you, uh, you really said was important to you. So, ano po, what is it about pedestrianization that you think helps make Quezon City a more livable city? Well, first, there's really like a street fight. Yung kay-author ng uh, the, the then NYC Transport um, Commissioner na meron talagang um, pag-aaway between the pedestrian and the motorist. And to be a livable city, dapat equal, equal rights for the pedestrian and the motorist. And to, to have that right, equal rights, is to have a livable city. And um, um, if you have that equal rights for the pedestrian and the motorist, um, magkakaroon tayo ng, um, we can enjoy more of the spaces provided by us. Not only the motorists, not only the, the other, um, um, the other um, public transportation, but also the pedestrian. So, um, kasi ngayon kasi ang Quezon City, we have much more wider roads. Um, pinapalawak pa natin na lalo yung mga roads natin without thinking of the other aspect of the city. Those people who are walking to their home, to, to their place of work or to their place of um, worship or yung sa kanilang school, yun hindi na natin sila napapansin. Because what we, we used to do is creating more roads only for car, for motorists. But right now, to be a livable city, to have equal rights with the motorists. Yeah. Can you describe, uh, Councillor Belmonte, the pedestrianization plan? Exactly how would it work? I know hindi pa final yung ordinance, pero yung current proposal niyo, ano po each wooden ng pedestrianization sa council? Okay, um, kasi um, dati pa talaga na there's really, uh, the, there's really a plan for the development of the pedestrian of the Tomas Morato. In fact, uh, during the time of Speaker Sonny Belmont as the mayor, um, nire-develop ni, ni, ni na siya yung, side, yung sidewalk na to. Uh, there's some contentious with the restaurant because mawawala yung kanilang parking because they're using the sidewalk as a parking. But again, we want this 
Tomas Morato to be a family oriented um, street. So we want to provide more um, space for pedestrian. Hence, uh, we widen the sidewalk of Tomas Morato. Uh, yun yung unang plan. But right now, there's a plan, a uh, current plan, the, to link this pedestrian with the Gora Lane and along Hemadi Street and going to Quezon Avenue. It's a future goal of the city, but what we want is at least uh, Tomas Morato to be the center of pedestrianization of Quezon City. So, may, may plan talaga yan na uh, first, in terms of the infrastructure, um, we want it to be um, pedestrian friendly. As you can see, tumutunog. May tumutunog. <laughs> May tumutunog. <laughs> okay lang kayo. So, you, as you can see, yung pedestrian uh, walkway ng Tomas Maroto, maliit pa rin. Mas marami pa rin sa parking. Uh, even if we provide the bikeway, the bike lane, um, kulang pa rin siya sa pedestrian. Marami pa rin uh, taong hindi nakakadaan sa Tomas Marato. So we want to have an infrastructure development for Tomas Marato to provide for a more uh, enjoyable uh, pedestrian walk. So, ano ba ito? Una, um, sigo changing the width of the pedestrian. So not is to be more of um, not only for walking, but also for those with um, uh, in terms of their mga disabled natin, mga kadaanin sila dito sa ating pedestrian walk. So yun yung isang, um, isang plan ng city. Of course, um, there's also plan na magkaroon tayo ng alfresco dining here so that people can enjoy the, the sidewalk and of course in terms of the trees we want to um, plant more trees along Tomas Marato. And po yung car free? So will it be 24-7, 7 days a week? Like, ano po yung mga concrete sa car free? The, the initial proposal is for it to be um, every Sunday. Okay? And the initial proposal is from 12 a.m. to what to 1 a uh, to 1 to 12 a.m. to to 11 yan, 11 p.m. so yun yung ano so talagang uh, ang yung maximize yung closure ng Thomas Marto. Uh, of course, may mga initial reaction from the restaurant and some of the resident na medyo masyado mahaba, etc. So, um, with this, um, siguro we can uh, limit the time of the closure of the streets. Pero ang initial talaga is every Sunday, um, 12 to 11. Yung mga pag na concerns na lumabas dun sa first public consultation nyo po for things like um, concerns on alternate routes. Parang how will they access a certain establishment if they use that particular street at saka parking. Mayroon na po ba kayo na-explore na proposals to address this? Um, in terms of parking, it's a long history of Tomas Marato area Now we really need more parking space. In fact, um, kapag pupunta ka sa Tomas Morato and you want to dine in in Tomas Morato, ang unang aspect na titingnan mo is where can we park? Saan kami magpa-park dito? And if you don't have parking, anong gagawin natin? Di ba aalis na tayo doon sa Tomas Morato? Oh, let's go somewhere else. So, I believe yung parking is always an issue in terms of Tomas Morato. Um, there's some there's some talks now with regards to the parking situation of Tomas Morato. In fact, uh, all those with idle lots in, along Tomas Morato or the nearby um, street of Tomas Morato, if they can um, provide uh, parking space, and this parking space, we will incentivize them actually. So, pwede namin incentivize sila if they can provide the vacant lot for parking. So, isa yon. Isang, isang way of doing uh, addressing the par parking problem. The second is, yung first public consultation namin, ang issue is, una sa mga may challenge sa mobility. 
So, yung mga disabled natin, how can they go to the restaurant? Uh, where can they um, unload and uh, unload? And for the deliveries, where they can unload and unload, deliveries nila, kung kailan sila pwede pumasok. Ganyan. So, all of those um, issue was raised during the first public consultation. And there's some proposal coming from the stakeholders na um, we can have the point system, the, uh, the drop-off system natin na kung saan pwede sila doon mag-drop-off per block para they can go to the restaurant they wanted to go. So, yun. But the idea here for the closure of the street, not only for the restaurant, actually, it's for the people to enjoy the street. And eventually, um, after na lang nila ma-enjoy the street, they can go to the restaurant. But the, the, the thing is, the, the goal is to enjoy the urban landscape of Queso City. So, yan, yung issue in terms of the parking, yan, um, problema talaga natin yan. Hence, um, we, will, we wanted to conduct more public consultation and to ask um, each of the barangays that, uh, na, na nasa sakupan ng Tomas Marato um, in terms of their parking ordinance because each barangay has their own uh, traffic ordinance and kung makakonsolidate namin lahat ito and they can agree that they can they will allow the side street parking on the um, uh, the secondary load going to Tomas Morato it will help during the closure of Tomas Morato in terms of the rerouting from Siguro from what I remember, we always close the street of Thomas Morton during big of a event of Queso City. We have the um, Earth Day na kinoclose namin yung street. Recently, kinoclose natin ang street ng Thomas Morato during the Kababayan Festival where we conducted a contest. Uh, it's a contest for um, the dance contest for the Kababayan. So, yun, nakasclose din namin yung street na, na, ng Tomas Morato, which is very, very successful because um, people are enjoying the street of Tomas Morato. They even have their own, uh, they, they, they burst out um, dancing along the street na para may sumba all of a sudden. But, yun nga, yun yung, yun yung uh, nangyari during the culture of the street. So, meron na kami rerouting plan from, from, previous mga events namin. So, uh, hence, kaya na, na, naisip din namin na it will not, um, it will not uh, be, there's no impact, ma massive impact in terms of the traffic because previously, wala naman nagkaroon. Then, during that time, uh, during the rerouting plan of the closure of Tomas Morato, wala naman kami nakitang uh, any uh, issue in regards to the rerouting. Meron po ba kayo nakita mga similar pedestrianization ideas or mga implementation in other parts of the Philippines that you think you could draw uh, maybe ideas from or solutions from? May, meron ba kayong model na kung saan yun? Well, meron na alam ko, there's several city in the Philippines na nagkoclose ng street nila. And these streets are mostly um, during the Sunday, na talagang wala talagang tao. Uh, they're not really open during that during Sunday. But to mas mora to, 24-7 is always open. So I guess it will have a massive impact in terms of the carbon emission. Uh, the, uh, reducing the carbon emission. In terms of inspiration, um, being Queso City, being part of the C40 cities, uh, maraming cities around the word na kinoclose nila yung city, uh, yung streets nila, main roads. Meaning, um, they're trying to uh, close the street for people to enjoy the streets. Um, one example is New York. Uh, the Times Square. Uh, yung Times Square, nung kinoclose nila ito, before nila kinoclose ito, mataas ang rate ng accident sa area na yun. Because Times Street going to Broadway so people are working there tapos yung mga tourists natin nagpipicture doon so there's a, really a, a high a volume of traffic in Times Square but because of the closure of the street mas marami, mas marami pang tao in fact, um, there's a study na mas nagtumaas ang retail sale ng, ng Times Square 
ng mga retail store along Times Square because of the closure of the Times Square. Not because of... So, looking at it, hindi, hindi ang, ang, ang isang establishment o isang, ang isang business is not driven by, by the traffic coming from cars. It's more on the foot traffic coming from people enjoying the streets. So, that, that's one of my inspiration. And also, um, iconic road, avenue. Shab Elisei was closed during Sunday. And alam naman natin itong Shab Elisei, ano to, traffic din to. Pero kinulos nila. People are enjoying the street. Even um, Parisian is enjoying the street. Not only tourists, but also Parisian. So, those are the inspiration. Pero let's go somewhere more, ano. Siguro, ka, ka, parang kaparehas ng Quezon City. Uh, I guess in uh, Bogota. Hindi naman sila ganong ka-develop. But they um, trying to um, convert roads into a pedestrian, a uh, uh, pedestrian-friendly roads for people to enjoy it. So, may mga certain activities silang ginagawa. So, nandun na eh, nandun na yung globally, um, we're trying to gear toward a car-centric city in, in terms of urban planning, and we're gearing toward to a more pedestrian-friendly roads. So, yun yung mga inspiration for this ordinance. Mga last two questions na po. Okay. Yung, uh, can you describe how historic this proposed ordinance is? Like, in just a grander scheme of things, ito po ba yung, eh, what does it mean for Quezon City na may ganitong proposed ordinance? Um, what it means? Because, we, hindi naman, ano, lingit sa kaalaman ng karamihan, na marami talagang nagsasara ng roads, di ba? Na for people to enjoy. But closing to Mas Morato every Sunday, is really putting Quezon City on the map. Um, for us to close the street of Tomas Marato, a commercial street, a very highly, a highly um, commercial street, is something na makikita kong, um, if we can do it Tomas Marato, we can do it in some other street of Quezon City. Yun yung, yun yung nakikita ko eh. Uh, it's important that um, we provide more open spaces for pedestrian or for neighbor neighborhood of Tomas Marato. Uh, alam ko mga tiga scout area, may mga certain reklamo na sila because they're being um, occupied by more commercial spaces and palit ng palit na yung uh, kanilang resident area. And pagpaliit ng paliit na yung commercial, uh, residential area, and then we will be more of a commercial area. Quezon City or Tomas Morato area, the scout area, will not be as livable as before. So, like I said a while ago, we want to create and maintain more of pedestrian friendly streets. So, it will be a landmark ordinance. Um, at the same time, um, if we do this in Tomas Marato, we can replicate it in other street of Quezon City uh, in terms of uh, the other district. So, this is first and hopefully we will not be the last one for Quezon City. Okay, last question po before you may move on to your call to action. Okay. So, um, ano po yung sa yung biggest challenge that your proposed ordinance will face? What is the pinaka obstacle to its success? Obstacle, uh, biggest challenge. Yung tingin ko yung the restaurant owners not agreeing to the closure of the street every Sunday because there's a common um, feedback that um, bababay sales nila. But um, ito nga yung uh, goal natin eh, is like I said kanina, Kapag ikaw pumunta sa Tomas Marato, if you want to enjoy the restaurant there, if walang parking, you go somewhere else. But if we're going to provide 
the street of Tomas Morato for everyone to enjoy, not only for uh, motorists, I think it will give more chance for their businesses to grow. Um, and alam mo ang Quezon City mahilig yan sa uh, sa mga puno, sa mga trees, sa mga open spaces. Uh, we crave Quezon City crave for more open spaces. If we can do it in Tomas Morato, na magkakaro kami ng somewhere to go to enjoy the street and not be worried about uh, any traffic or any accident during the um, uh, walking through Thomas Morato. So, makikita ko uh, magiging, uh, magiging uh, it will be more, it, we will bring more development in Thomas Morato. So, hopefully, um, other than the business establishment, wala na ibang negative feedback. So, yun. Sa public consultation. Yung exciting part. Oo. Ano yung mga susubi na ito? 